Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how to connect GNS3 topology into physical network like devices, routers, and switches in home lab. And same way, we'll see how to connect physical network devices back into GNS3. Also, we will see how to exchange routes between GNS3 to physical network. Using NAT cloud, we can connect into physical network, but we cannot connect back into GNS3. But this NAT cloud is sufficient to use internet from GNS3 to update or install any software from internet. For this purpose, we can use cloud device so that if you want to telnet or SSH from physical network, this will be helpful. I installed GNS3 and GNS3 VM in my Windows 10 laptop. For this demo purpose, I am using physical network. As I don't have built-in Ethernet port, I am using this USB gigabit Ethernet port. Uh, that's what I am using to connect with my PC. Also, I am using this to bridge GNS3 to physical network. It is better to use physical network to do this. Wi-Fi network may not work. For this demo, I am going to use two Cisco 7200 routers. I'll connect this now. Before adding cloud to this topology, we have to add network adapters to GNS3 virtual machine. My GNS3 virtual machine is hosted in VMware Workstation Player. Go to the drop down list, select Manage and Virtual Machine Settings. Here we already have two net network adapters. We have to add one more. Click Add. Select network adapter and finish. Now the third network adapter is added here, but we have to change the network connection type as bridge. Click OK. Now GNS3 is restarted. Here we can see once again. Now we have three network adapters. If the first one is host only, the next one is NAT, the other one is bridge connections. Okay. Now we can add cloud to the network topology. So I'll drag it from here. We should run the cloud, cloud device in the GNS3 VM. It is the recommended way of doing this. Now I'll connect the router two to cloud one. This will be the third interface. Here we can see the first, second, third. So it should be third interface, Ethernet 2. I have powered on both the routers and I have configured host name for router 1 and router 2 as GNS3 R1 and GNS3 router 2. Now I'll go to router 1 console and we'll configure router 1 IP addresses. I'll configure on loopback IP address. Sorry. IP address 11.11.11.11 followed by 32 bits of net mask. And now we will configure the IP address in G20 interface. Interface G2 slash 0. IP address will configure 172.16.0.1 dot 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 followed by 24 bits of net mask. No shut.
now we will configure default route from R1 pointing to router 2 G20 interface. I'll configure the default route. IP route. Router router to IP address G20 IP address. That is next hop IP address. 0 0.2. Now we check the IP addresses, configured IP address. So show IP interface brief. Here we can see the IP addresses configured in G20 interface. In the low pack IP address we have configured 11.11.11.11. We will check the routing table, show IP route. Here we can see the connected connected routes and we can see the static default route, which is via that is the G20 interface IP address of router 2. Now we will go to router 2, we will configure that. First, we will configure the G20 interface. Interface G20 IP address. 172.16.2 followed by 24 bits of net mask. No shared. Now we'll configure the loopback IP address interface. Loop 0. IP address 22, 22, 22, 22. Followed by 32 bit subnet mask. Now, finally, we'll configure the DHCP IP address in interface F0 slash 0 so that it can receive the IP address from my physical home network. I'll configure interface F0 slash 0 IP address. We'll configure DHCP. No shell. We'll wait for some time. It will receive from my home network. Yeah, here we can see the console notification. It received the IP address from my home network. We will check in. Interface brief command. Here you can see the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. It received the IP address 10.10.2 via DHCP method and the configured, uh, configured loopback IP address also you can see and the gigabit 2 slash 0 IP address also you can see. And we'll check IP route. Here we can see all the connected, connected routes and local routes. And this is the default route it land from my physical network pointing to the default gateway is this is the IP address of my physical local router. Now we will check from router to whether it can reach internet. We will ping global DNS server. Ah, it is reachable. Now we'll Google.com. It is not resolving, so we have to configure one more command. IP domain domain lookup. Now we can check once again. Google.com. Now it is successful. Now from router to I can reach the internet. Now, before that, we will check the IP address clearly we have seen in the routing table. Default gateway of router 2, that is by a physical network IP address, physical network router's IP address. Now, we will make a SSH connection from here. 
from my physical laptop. Ten dot ten dot ten dot two fifty four. That is my router's physical network router's IP address. Port twenty two for SSH. I will make SSH connection. I use my login credential. Yes, here you can see. This is my physical router. We'll check the IP addresses configured there. Here you can see I have configured some IP addresses already. Loopback IP address and fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1. And we can check the routing table too. It has some connected and local routes and default route pointing to my ISP router IP address. Now let us check whether this route GNS3 routers R1 and R2 can exchange routes with my physical router. We'll try that. We will configure the OSP of in router 1 and router 2. First I will configure in router 1 and go to router 1 R1 console. Router OSPF one. I'll config. I'll enable the OSPF in all the interfaces. Two fifty five. Two fifty five. Wildcard mask and area zero. I enable the OSPF in all the interfaces of router one first. Now I'll configure it in. Router two, router OSPF one, router OSPF one, and network. The same way I will enable the OSPF in all the interfaces. Area zero. Here you can see it, it found the neighbor relationship with this router one 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 dot one dot one. That is my physical router I'm using in my home networks, router IP, loopback IP address. And here you can see this router to router one GNS3 router one also made a neighbor relationship with router two. You can check here, show IP from R2, OSPF neighbor. A router 2 made a neighbor relationship with 11.11.11 .11 neighbor ID, that is R1's loopback IP address. And uh, uh, it made a neighbor relationship with 1.1.1, .1 that is my physical router's IP address. From R2 also we can check, show IP, OSPF, neighbor, it made a relationship, neighbor relationship with router 2. Now we will check the routing table of the R1, show IP route. Here we can see the router 1, GNS3 router 1 has learned the routing, the, all the routes of these OSPF routes, these are learned from this 10.10.0 network. This is my physical network. And 22.22 is the loopback address of R2. And it has landed the, my physical network 192.168.1.0. And router 2 also, we can check. Show IP route. R2 also has landed the OSPF routes from my physical network. 1.00 network and 192.168.10 network and 10.00 network is a connected network between R2 and physical network. Now same way we will check whether my physical home router can learn all the routes from GNS3 routers R1 and R2. I will go to my physical router console. Here we will check earlier it was not plan any networks from GNS3. Now we will check, show IP route. 
here you, you can see this 11 dot 11 dot this 11 network from gns3 router one here yeah, this one this net network and uh, it land 22 22.22 that is routed to loopback network and it has land the network between 172.16 that is between router 1 and router 2 this one now gns3 routers and my physical routers can exchange the routes between them earlier we have checked the internet connectivity from router 2 now we will check the internet connectivity from router 1 i think 8.8.8.8 that is google gns server it is able to reach we will ping google.com it is not resolving we have to configure two more comments IP name server that is google dns server and ip domain lookup That's it. Now we'll try once again. I'll try pinging google.com. Now it is able to reach the internet from R1 and R2. And both the routers able to share routes between physical network and GNS3. Finally, we will do one more thing. We will configure telnet in both the GNS3 router and try it from uh, my physical laptop. I'll go to VTY line. I'll configure telnet password. Cisco. And I'll configure in router 2 also. VTY 04 and configure telnet password, Cisco. And now I'll open the party session. Here I'll give the IP address of router one, 172.16.0.1, and telnet connection, and port is 23. And I'll open now. Here you can see. The password is Cisco. Now I am able to reach the GNS3 router 1 from my physical network. And we will try one more session. This is my IP address of router 2, GNS3 router 2. I will make a telnet connection. Port is 23. I will open it now. Here you can see, now I am able to reach GNS3 router 1 and router 2 from my laptop physical network. So far we have seen how to connect GNS3 to physical network, also how to connect back to GNS3 from physical network, and how to exchange routes between GNS3 to physical network. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.